This country's language is written in both the Latin and Cyrillic alphabets. Hello, welcome to Opentiera. Today we're looking at Serbia, a country with a rich cultural heritage, breathtaking landscapes and a fascinating history. Don't miss out on the surprises we have in store for you, so stay tuned to the end to uncover Serbia's geography, history and culture. Serbia is situated between several other countries in southeastern Europe, including Hungary to the north, Romania to the northeast, Bulgaria to the east, North Macedonia to the south, Montenegro to the southwest, Bosnia and Herzegovina to the west, and Croatia to the northwest. The country occupies the central part of the Balkan Peninsula. The country has a total area of about 29,913 square miles. Serbia is relatively compact compared to other European countries. The capital and largest city is Belgrade, located at the confluence of the Danube and Sava rivers. The climate. The lowest recorded temperature in Serbia was 39.5 degrees Celsius or 39.1 degrees Fahrenheit. On January 26, 2006, in Karadžukića Bunari in Pešta, and the highest was 44.9 degrees Celsius or 112.8 degrees Fahrenheit on July 24, 2007. The differences in elevation and proximity to the Adriatic Sea and other large bodies of water result in variations in climate across the country. Northern Serbia has a continental climate with cold winters and hot summers. Southern Serbia is influenced by the Adriatic Sea and has warmer winters. The highest mountain regions experience alpine conditions. Serbia can be divided into several main geographic and historical regions. Vojvodina is an autonomous province in the northern plains containing the cities of Novi Sad and Subotica. This multi-ethnic area was settled by Serbs, Hungarians, Croats, Romanians and others. The fertile soil makes it the agricultural heartland. Shumadija covers central Serbia and is hilly. This is a historic region where the first Serbian uprising against the Ottoman Empire began. It contains cities like Kragujevac. Western Serbia borders Bosnia and Croatia. It contains mountainous areas that were historically frontier regions between empires. Southern and Eastern Serbia includes the cities of Niš and Zayacar. This area borders Bulgaria, Macedonia and Montenegro. The Balkan, Carpathian and Rhodope mountains dominate. Kosovo is a partially recognized state that declared independence from Serbia in 2008. It remains a disputed territory to this day. Kosovo has its own distinctive geography, climate and natural resources. The majority ethnic group in Serbia are the Serbs. About 83% of the population identifies as ethnically Serb. Serbs speak the Serbian language and primarily belong to the Serbian Orthodox Church. Significant minority groups include Hungarians, Roma, Bosniaks, Croats, Slovaks, Albanians, Montenegrins, Vlachs, Romanians, Macedonians and Bulgarians. Many of these minority groups are concentrated in the northern autonomous province of Vojvodina. After the Yugoslav Wars in the 1990s, Serbia's ethnic makeup shifted. The Albanian population declined after the secession of Kosovo. Meanwhile, over 300,000 Serbian refugees from Bosnia, Croatia and Kosovo moved to Serbia, changing the makeup. The dominant religion in Serbia is Orthodox Christianity. About 84% of Serbians identify as Serbian Orthodox. Orthodox Christianity has played an important role in shaping Serbia's history, identity and culture. Other religious groups include Roman Catholics, Protestants and Muslims. Roman Catholics are centered in northern Vojvodina, which was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. 
Muslims mostly live in the southern Sanjak region and Kosovo. A small Jewish community has lived in Serbia for centuries, while atheism has grown since the communist era of Yugoslavia. Overall, Serbia has a long tradition of religious diversity and tolerance. The official language is Serbian, spoken by over 90% of the population. Serbian uses the Cyrillic alphabet, though Latin script can also be used. Minority languages recognized in Serbia include Hungarian, Slovak, Romanian, Croatian, Ruthenian, and Albanian. Many Serbians can speak multiple languages. In the autonomous province of Vojvodina, over a dozen languages are spoken, including Serbian, Hungarian, Croatian, and Slovak, by the various ethnic groups. Most people also speak Serbian to facilitate communication between groups. Serbia is located in the Balkans, and its cuisine reflects influences from Mediterranean, Hungarian, and Turkish cultures. Here are some highlights of Serbia's delicious dishes. Gomboce are Serbian stewed dumplings, similar to gnocchi. They are made from potatoes or corn flour and stuffed with plums or cheese before being boiled. Gomboc are often served in soups or as a side dish. These soft, chewy dumplings are comforting on a cold day. Sarma are stuffed cabbage or grape leaves filled with minced meat and rice. They are simmered in a sauce made from paprika, onions and carrots. Sarma is a family favorite that is often served for holidays and special occasions. The combination of rice, meat and vegetables wrapped in cabbage makes for a delicious dish. The Pajeskovica is considered Serbia's national dish. It is a grilled patty of spiced ground meat, often served in a flatbread sandwich with onions, sour cream and ajvar relish. Beef, pork or a mixture is used to make Pljeskavikas. The patty is juicy and full of flavor from the spices. Pljeskavikas are loved across the Balkans and Hungary. The territory of modern-day Serbia has been settled since prehistoric times. The Serbs arrived in the Balkans during the 6th century AD. In the 12th century, the Serb state of Rashka gained prominence under the Nemanjic dynasty. In the 14th century, the Serbian Empire under Stefan Dusan encompassed much of the Balkans. However, the Battle of Kosovo against the Ottomans in 1389 marked the beginning of centuries of Ottoman rule. Serbia fought for independence from the Ottoman Empire during the first Serbian uprising starting in 1804. Initially semi-independent, it gained full independence in 1878 after several revolts and wars against the Ottomans. The Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes was formed after World War I in 1918. This kingdom later became Yugoslavia. During World War II, Yugoslavia was invaded and occupied by Axis powers. Josip Broz Tito led Yugoslav partisans against the Axis and became the leader of socialist Yugoslavia after the war. Under Tito, Yugoslavia adopted a federal system granting autonomy to the provinces of Serbia. However, after Tito's death, Ethnic tensions grew between Serbs and Albanians in Kosovo. In the 1990s, Yugoslavia broke up in a series of wars leading to an independent Serbia and Montenegro. Further conflicts erupted between Serbia and the separatist provinces of Vojvodina, Kosovo and other regions seeking independence. In the 21st century, Serbia emerged from isolation and conflict to increase integration with the rest of Europe. However, tensions over Kosovo's status remain unresolved. Serbia continues to balance aspirations to join the EU with regional instability. The economy of Serbia has undergone periods of prosperity and hardship throughout its history. Like many nations in southeastern Europe, Serbia has struggled to develop a strong market economy after years of socialism. In the 1990s, Serbia's economy suffered from the collapse of Yugoslavia and the Eastern Bloc. 
years of instability made it difficult to transition from socialist policies towards free markets. Serbia experienced hyperinflation and high unemployment after state-owned enterprises were privatized. Poverty and economic sanctions during this decade stalled development. However, by the 2000s, prudent fiscal policies helped stabilize Serbia's economy and create a foundation for growth. In the following decades, Serbia worked to reorient and open its markets to global trade. This was a major shift from the insular socialist model. Serbia made strategic moves like signing a free trade agreement with Russia in 2000 and applying for EU membership in 2009. However, the legacy of state economic control remained strong. Unemployment continued to plague the economy even as foreign investment grew. Accession to the EU began unlocking greater opportunities for growth through trade. If you enjoyed this video on Serbia, you'll love this next one.